Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer product review. Today's product up on the tabletop is something interesting, something unique, and it was brought to my attention via email. The company eWin Racing went ahead and sent me this gaming chair, and of course, I'm going to review it. Now, this is of course for video gamers and board gamers alike, which is pretty cool, and it has a bunch of features, and we're going to go ahead and get into them and show you guys exactly what this comes with and whether or not you, you should purchase it yourself based on my little review here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the chair. So here we have the E-Win Racing Gaming Chair, and as you guys can see, I chose the black and silver model, but there's plenty of other options to choose from. And it is, uh, we, we've probably worn it in for about two or three weeks here. I'm just gonna show you all the different features before you get into the review. The first thing you're gonna notice, it has armrests, right? And of course, like normal armrests, there's gonna be ones that go up and down. It's really easy to maneuver these guys here just like this. And you can set your own height adjustment. You've also got some more adjustments on this thing. First of all, you've got this thing here, which is gonna move it back and forth on both sides. And you can kind of adjust it how you want. Another thing is it pulls in and out. For you guys that are a little wider like myself. And then finally, the other one is it actually turns from one side to the other. Now, whether that's useful to you or not, it will be different, but we'll talk about what I think about that later. This here has got the lumbar support here. It actually attaches from the back here with straps, and if you don't like it, you can simply unclip it. It's really easy to just go ahead and put it together and take it apart. And it also has these supports here where you can actually take them apart, reduce the amount of stuff inside or not, as well as the headrest here, which is also really easy to remove clip. It just goes ahead and pulls it out. No big deal if you don't like that as well. And finally, it's going to have this little lever here. This lever here is pretty easy. It's really, really strong and sturdy. And when you pull it, it's going to push this chair all the way up. It's got really good springs. And it pulls all the way down. I think it goes to about 170 degrees. It's almost full 180. So you can go ahead and lay down in your chair if you want. Uh, but that is pretty much the main features on the chair itself, other than, of course, how it feels. This kind of feels like, um, it's not really a leather, but like a pleathery feel. And it's very smooth, very soft, and very cushiony on this. I mean, it's going to have more of a sturdiness to it. So if you want a chair that's going to be more, like, more softer and squishier, maybe not this one, but if you like a strong sturdiness to it and it's going to retain its shape, you can bust around on it a lot if you would like. I've had no issues with just jumping on it and running around on it. But overall, that is the front portions of it and the back portion of it. And as you can see, it swivels very easily, very quietly, and it was uh, pretty simple to put together as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom. So here we are at the bottom of the E-Win gaming or even racing chair. And as you can see, it's put together with these elastic green straps. I'm guessing it's the same color for all of the models. And you have the Titan uh, metal rings that take a, go around the pleather, leather style. And so it keeps it nice and sturdy. You're also gonna have bolts that mounted into everything. And this little lever here is going to actually make this go up and down. The chair will go up and down. And it's gonna come with some uh, aesthetic stuff that's gonna come across it. As well as you can see, just went ahead and put it together like this, no big deal. Uh, and these wheels here went together as well. Nice and easy, they spin as you can see really easily, really well. But that was pretty much the, uh, it for the bottom of the section. Let's go ahead and talk about what I think of the E-Win Racing Gaming Chair. All right, so now for time for the review for the racing chair, E-Win, and what do I think of it? Well, first of all, if you're looking for a super soft, squishy chair um, with like really nice squishiness around it, maybe not for you. However, if you like sturdiness and you like compact and like pushing up against your back, for me, I have sciatic pain, so my back is constantly in pain, and this lumbar support is super useful. The headrest keeps me in line with the lumbar support, which is nice, but if you want your back fully flat, you can actually take these off, and it's very easy to take off and put back together, which is awesome as well. Another little feature I didn't mention too, was down here is a little lever, and you can pull on, push it, or pull it, and it'll just go up nice and easy. And also, it's not gonna go down unless you're actually sitting on it, which is kinda cool too, so you actually have to put some weight into it to make sure it goes down. Uh, the features for these things, I thought they were originally going to be a little gimmicky, and they're not. I actually use these all the time, which is super cool. For instance, um, when I'm trying to game on my specific uh, setup over there, I don't have... I don't have a flat mouse and keyboard. My keyboard is lower than my mouse. So what I like to do with this thing is I actually like to pull this thing up as high as I possibly can. And I like to pull this one down lower. So my left hand is on my keyboard, my right hand is on my mouth. So if you have any of those style gaming setups, because that's just how I got it, my wife gave it to me for a birthday present, then uh, this is probably gonna be very useful for you. As well as if you're doing something on one screen or another screen, you can simply go ahead and there's all these buttons. Uh, you can go ahead and turn this to the left and you can use it for that, that side of the a screen or switching back and forth. So that's pretty cool there as well. I don't really use the feature where you lay all the way down. I mean, I don't know who does, but I imagine 
more for fun. I've, I've seen PewDiePie use it a couple times on his streams for his other style of chair. This one has all the features of that one as well, including all the different additional uh, movements around. As far as the uh, quality of the chair is concerned and the color, uh, the quality is super good. I mean, this thing is going to last me a very long time. I probably went through three chairs so far and I bought them from Staples and I bought one from Ikea and I got one for a present and all of them just were destroyed in over oh, about a year, maybe a year and a half. I'm imagining this one will last longer, but don't take my word for it. I'll probably have to let you guys know in about a year and a half from now how well this thing is holding up. I hope to be able to keep this uh, as long as humanly possible because it's super nice and it's the nicest chair I've ever gotten. Um, also, the color is awesome. They have tons of different colors. I specifically like black, I like silver, so this is the one I, ch I chose. They have bigger chairs and smaller chairs depending on your size which is pretty cool as well I went for the bigger model because I'm six foot three so I need something bigger and sturdier and this one does support me when I'm sitting down for a long editing periods which is what I'll be doing with the, in this chair for editing this video it'll be very very useful for me as well because it's gonna keep me supported on my back whereas the other chairs would not I would have to keep putting pillows and pillows on my, my chairs and this is the first time in five years I've not actually had to put a pillow on my chair so that's really really nice but overall this chair is excellent I really really like this chair the only thing I would also say, other than probably the uh, not very useful feature of going all the way back, but all the other chairs are doing it, so why not, is the fact that, um, oh, what do you want to say, how do you want to say it, like, uh, it's going to be up to debate as to whether you want to buy it for the price, right? The chairs are very, very expensive, but that's because you're going to have higher quality. So this chair here is roughly... 300 and something dollars, but they have sales, right? And also if you put in my code unfiltered into the little promo code, it'll be 10% off as well. They had a May sale, which means this thing went down to like 270 bucks, which is a super steal because I've gotten some chairs for about 150 to 200 dollars and they were nowhere near as nice. So overall, the Ewin Racing chair, gaming chair, is super good. It works for board gaming and it works for video gaming alike. I use this on my table for playing games and I use this on my desktop over there for playing video games. So it works really well in both those aspects. Well, that's all I got for this one, and let's go ahead and get into the ending here. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer promotional review. If you like this chair, you can go ahead and check it out on ewingaming.com, or ewingracing.com. I'll have a link in the description below, along with my promo code that can give you 10% off. This chair is super useful, especially if you have a lot of back problems or sciatic problems like I do. I am always gonna be using this thing. It's, it's, it's freaking sweet, I love it. As well as checking out our website, unfilteredgamer.com, there will actually be some banner ads on there if you go ahead and click on to uh, purchase the chair that way. Maybe that's easier for you as well as there's some giveaways on our page site. For right now we're doing something for AEG and Tabletop Takeovers. We are giving away the game Space Base. This is an excellent Machi Koro killer. I guarantee that this game is going to be really fun for you if you like games like Machi Koro. As well as checking out our friends EverythingBoardGames.com and the Giveaway Geek. Two great sites that have tons of blog posts and giveaways as well. Alright guys, well that's all I got for you this time and as always, I look forward to seeing you guys next time.